All right, I'm gonna choose a random pair and a random trading day. Uh, yeah, random pair and a random trading day from the last trading week. Hopefully, we don't get Friday. Liquidity was messed up. I mean, candles were messed up. Too much. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. April twelfth. Um, April twelfth. And we're gonna be scalping. Um, using supply and demand. So. Gold. Gold on April 12th was something else, right? I don't really know. <laughs> Let's go over here and we'll remove any drawings we have. Let's go to here. Hopefully I didn't say that on the mic. Boom, okay. Now let me go to the 15 minute. And let's get our uh, back test helper set up. Oh, cool. It's already set up for the 12th. That's dope. So what we have here is we have gold just pushing up, doing all this stuff. Made this high here. I want to mark that off as a potential area for a reversal because when you have these long wicks to the top side, that means that there's some information in there that's telling price that it could be going down at some point. However, knowing that we did make this massive rally up to here and I came back down and we failed to break the low y'all failed to break the low. Okay. That's cool. That's, a, that's, that's an indication that we may want to, um, keep going up. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this whole low. And then now we're back in this pattern. So we just broke the low on this range, which tells me that we could come back down somewhere into uh, this area because in this area, this is a higher time frame level of demand. Um, I could probably figure out what candles these are, but just, just know that this is also something that we should look out for. So if we wanted to, we can make this like a less important zone but if we get back down in there just know that we, we just know that we know <laughs> so then we pushed up we rejected off of this area of supply as you can see here and that started this move this move barely broke the low of this so that tells me that we could either we, we most likely will run these lows but um we're currently bouncing from this zone of supply here so if we get in here and we start doing like some weird like W or something, then I will enter. Otherwise, I assume we run the lows right now, even though right now I am bullish on this. So I would assume that we can bounce from here or here and to go up. Or we can just continue going up from here. If we fail to break the high here, um, since we are still in that zone of supply, I might actually take this entry. So using that same concept of the wick on the higher time frame, right? We can enter from here on this lower time frame area. And so let's just take the, the cell stop loss here. One to three. First trade. And we get it. Cool. So that's a plus three there. And now we are going to be back into this zone. And so remember what I was saying about this zone. Uh, let me go to the next 15 minute candle, which is here. So this zone, we can either run the lows or we can bounce. And now with this move, basically we have to see what happens because this low did run this low, but it was only by a little bit. So it could just mean nothing. It could mean something that was, however, the highest point the price was. So normally I would say we ran this low, made a lower low. So we now expect more lows to be put in. Um, but right now I'm kind of looking at this overall structure and that fact that we bounced from here. Honestly, I still say we run these lows and we bounce from this lower area. So let's see what we got. Now I'm trying to enter from 15 minute zones of supply only or demand only. And I did forget to mark out other zones we could bounce from. So now that we've done mitigated that that we did this now, I would assume the next bounce would be from here, even though it's been tapped into.
and that would probably be around here. Okay, we did fail to break this high. I don't like, um, I don't like the way that this is pushing. Like we, we filled in the missing price down here and then we push back into here. Now I, I need more confirmation because of the way this is moving. I'd rather it bounce from up here. <laughs> that kind of makes me want to enter again. Um, because we didn't break this high and then we had a conf two confirmations there, but let's see what we got. So we pushed a little bit hi <clears throat> higher into this. Still waiting to see something better because we didn't really do much here. We just kept breaking up and then this is our refined area here being the last up move before the down move. So um, the highest probability drop would be from here. But we just created a demand zone on the 15 minute, kind of building off of this area here. So we could just be pushing up from here. So we want to be cautious about cells. Okay, we just ran the highs of that. So on the next 15 minute, I will look for uh, areas we can buy from. And right now to me, that would just literally be like basically this last down move here. Now, if we wanted to sell, I would say once again, we would sell from where we are now. And we have to understand that we're also within this area. So I would still say last wick area here would be the best one. Honestly, I'd like to see a wick come down, fill some of this in, and then we take the trade for buy. But I don't want to sell right now. Okay, so we are in that area. Massive ass push. Um, I I don't think I would have ever caught that. Uh, we can go back on the 15 minute and do hindsight all day. So let's see what we got. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, I guess it's tapping into this here like we were wanting, but I just don't think that I ever would have caught that in a million years. So I'm not gonna catch it now. <laughs> And okay, so we just pushed into our area massively. Um, in hindsight, we probably could have tried to take something off of this, but it didn't touch into my zone. It was very close, but it didn't touch it. It filled in the missing price, but that's about it. Sadly, we missed that. Okay, so with this massive push into this area, I want to see where the last area of unmitigated price is, and that would be here. So let's see if we touch that. If we touch that, I will enter for a sell. We did touch that. I will enter for a sell. Even though it's like a huge bullish push, I do think gold likes to puff its chest up a little bit sometimes with these massive runs. So let's see what we got. Okay, we got taken out. So we are showing another uh, push. We did push up. We we filled in this missing price here, went back up. So let's see what happens at the top here. What I'm looking for is just a reversal sign. Um, what I should be looking for is a sign to buy. But I still only... Okay, so now really like... The next area to buy from would be here on the 15 minute. So we're taking 15 minute only. We're not taking any continuations or any of that. So um, on the 15 minute, I mean the ex next area to sell from would kind of be a little bit where we're at right now. Um, this, this hasn't been mitigated before. So we'll do that. We can put another one on top if we want to. Just to confuse ourselves. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, so that did tap into that zone. Um, so let's we'll see what happens. I'm gonna clean this up. I want to see what happens here. See if we get a pullback. See if we can enter. If we get a drop here. I'm gonna try to enter that. 
Okay, so I will enter this. I, I still think this gets cleared out because gold likes to clear out liquidity pretty quickly. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a little bit of buffer just for any like weird spikes or wicks. And then we're just gonna take this back down to our, uh, our we'll, just, we'll just do one to three. I kind of want to take it down to here, but I think that one to three is pretty good here. Just because it's counter trend, there's a lot of momentum to the upside. We're kind of stalling, but we haven't waited for any like much shift. We did break the low here, and then we failed to break the high when we came back up. So when we did this here, boom, broke the low right here, failed to break the high, and that's and we're in that refined one of our refined areas, right? So we want to just make sure that um, we're doing things right. And if the momentum stays like this, I'll probably just say I'll trail. Let's see. So we're at one to three right now. Um, I think I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. It stayed pretty consistent. We haven't really chopped up, but I think this might give us some some pause because we did kind of bounce up from here pretty well. So we'll just take the one to three and see what happens. Okay, so we went past that area, bounced off of our yellow zone. I'm going to take a buy from here because this is our next 15 minute buy zone, though I do think gold likes to run these wicks. I honestly think we do come lower, but we will give ourselves some buffer. One to three. Come on, baby. There you go. Nice little one to three there. Okay, so we got that. Now let's back up a bit because I want to see where the next 15 minute zone is that we can rely on for possibly a buy or a sell. And that is actually where we're at right now. So let's mark this off. We'll make it like yellow or something possible it's Venn diagram and so let me get back to our other candle okay here we go so we just ran it doesn't matter nothing happens nothing ever happens let's see what we got here pushing up to the top of our zone the tippy top let's go to the 15 minutes see what we got for a buy so in this case I would honestly say this would be the best area for me to buy from however I think we could wick into this area here because in a higher time frame this whole big ass push down is an area of demand but I'm gonna take the refined uh, area here forgot to turn off my desktop <laughs> that's okay I don't think it really matters um, okay so now that we're back up here possibly if I see um, Maybe a push below. I mean, I, I need to see some more downward action. Oh, that was the one I messed up. I kept clicking. It's okay. We will take a buy if we need to. Let's look at the 15 minute. So we did get a reaction from the top of this zone. But maybe now that we're up here, um, since we did, we didn't clear that zone. I'm gonna see if we can get something from here. Possibly up at the top here. If not, that's fine. We've already got a good RR for this session. I like this double top pattern here, especially because it's on the bottom of this, right? So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to enter a short here, understanding that it's pretty risky. So I'm just going to take a uh, one to three like this. I don't want to go any lower. I, I don't even actually want to go this far. I probably shouldn't enter this trade, right? Because this is this is based off of our 15 minute supply here, but the momentum in the market is still pretty bullish. Regardless of what just happened here, like I'm still looking at this. Let's see what happens, though. 
Okay, we're bouncing off the area that I thought was scary. And we still go. Okay, cool. Well, that's nice. What a nice session. This is pretty clean. Okay, so now that we're on that next 15 minute candle, um, I still say we clear the lows and go back down to our yellow section. And then whatever trade is next will probably be the last trade because I usually only go till 11 a.m. So, let's see what we got. Though it is, it did fill in the missing price here, kinda. But we're only trading from 15 minutes, so we don't have to think about this here. And I could have refined my uh, supply, new supply area to here on that last candle, possibly to take another entry here, but it's pretty close for me. Okay, we got close to our area. Um, I kind of want to buy here, but I'm not going to because it's just close. And if I had done close, we could have got the other one, but we ain't doing close right now. We're doing in the area now. And whatever we take in here, if we take one in here, it'll be the last trade. But it looks like we have a lot of strong momentum. Um, I still think that, hey, maybe this is the missing price here and go back up. See if we can catch one more. If not, that's fine. If you lose another one, I'm okay with that. So we refined it um, to that zone, but it did not reach it. And we started bouncing, which is good. So that shows that we have some indication to go up. Let's see if we can get a pullback. If we get another break above, I will enter. So I'll enter. That's based off of... I, I, I still think it would come down into here normally. Uh, plus we have all these wicks, but... Um, Let's see what we had. So we had this push down. We had this push back up, breaking above. Did we break above this? Kind of, We didn't break above that. That's interesting. It makes me not want to enter, but I mean, it's also like 12. I wouldn't be like, this is the end of the session. Like I should have ended it here. Because <laughs> um, I'm going to wait and see what happens. Okay, so we might have could have got that one to three there, possibly. I'm actually curious. I'm gonna draw it on, but I don't. I'm not taking another trade. Like it would have been this one, something like this. We would not have got one to three. We've been a lot, or like a lot of. We've been a lot of sadness. So we're ending the trade. We're ending the session here. I do want to see when this goes back up. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip forward a little bit, just to see if we're right about our zone down there. Let's see what we got. And there you go. Right back to this zone up here. Isn't that awesome? I feel. I feel good about that. Um. So that's what that would look like if we waited, but then I wouldn't have been able to trade this because you can't trade quote unquote overnight on FTMO. So when that daily candle switches over, you'd be sad. Also spreads are kind of funky here. So anyways, all in all, it's uh, what is this? Three, six, nine, 12, 11 hour session. Not too bad. 